Welcome. In this video for Advanced Road Design, we will look at the interface provided to Watercom Drains, which allows the import and export of data between the two programs for stormwater drainage design. First and foremost, as two separate programs are being used, there needs to be a conversion file between them. As currently displayed, drains, pits and pipes definitions are highlighted in yellow in the two conversion files used. Whilst the matching pits and pipes used in ARD pipes are highlighted in green. If any pit or pipe is created in one program, it must be matched with a like object in the other program and linked via these files. I will show you how to access these files from within ARD shortly. Regarding catchments, only areas and times of concentration information are transferred to drains from ARD. Furthermore, when defining catchments in ARD, a maximum of three catchments can be added to any one pit, and the description field must be set with PA, SU, or GR. These must be the first two characters separated by a space from any other description should you wish to add extra details. In regards to the requirements in a drains file, an ILSAX model must be set up. In addition to this, an overflow route named ARD must exist so that the bypass routes are transferred. Switching now to, AR, to Civil 3D, you can see a project that already has all the road elements designed and the entire drainage network established. So, in review, via layer states, pipes and pits are highlighted. Catchments have been added to each pit. Note, all pits have two catchments, only one has three. The bypass routes have been directed. The drawing contains three surfaces, NS, total model, and the combined surface of these. It is advisable that a combined surface be created that includes the NS and all design surfaces for use with ARD pipes, so it can leverage level and slope information from this combined terrain. Let's edit one of the catchment definitions. Catchments in ARD can be defined by three different methods. Currently, it is set to single, which has a simple time of concentration setting. However, the other two allow kinematic wave time of concentration inputs, which are transferred to drains. Please note that the description field is filled in with PA, in this case, indicating to drains that it is a paved area. The other two areas for this pit are designated as SU for supplementary, and GR for grass. Perhaps save these as styles for use in future projects. The conversion files initially mentioned are located under the data exchange panel. Again, users need to ensure the pit and pipe definition in drains matches with one of those in ARD pipes via these conversion files. Plotting a pipe long section is straightforward as can be seen. The tab is renamed so it can be compared to results after the drains is used. Looking at this output, it can be seen that all pipes are currently 300 millimetres in diameter. Run the export to drains routine, which is located on the data exchange panel. Pick the network, it will be highlighted, and seek confirmation that it is the correct network to export, and then select OK to write the data to a file. Swapping to drains. I will first save the open file into the drains subfolder created in the ARD dash folder for this project. Checking this file, you can see that an ILSAX model has been set with the rainfall data included. The pipe and pit database used in drains is located under the project menu. Check that a section is named ARD is included in the overflow routes database to ensure bypass routes are brought across from ARD. Import the MDB file generated by ARD and the network is created in drains. Whilst reviewing the pipes, I will adjust these so that the result can be seen back in ARD. Normally, designers would design and then analyse. I will just analyse the minor storm. Now that results are shown, these details can be sent back to ARD. From File, Export, select Advanced Road Design File and overwrite the same MDB file. Swap back to ARD and again from the Data Exchange panel, 
run the import from drones routine. Pick the network, it will be highlighted and seek confirmation that this is the correct network. Then pick OK to read the file. Select the frequency that was analysed within drones. Now that drones results have been imported, no general reports can be created from ARD that include catchment flows or HDLs etc as they will differ from the result calculated in drains. Drains data imported can only be displayed in pipe long sections so the pipe long section will be replotted. When, when doing so a prompt will appear asking whether to use the drains information. Once plotted and reviewing the information it can be seen that the pipe sizes are different from the initial design from ARD and reflect those set in drains. That concludes our video on the ARD drains interface. Whilst this procedure has been shown in Civil 3D, the process is identical in the AutoCAD and BricsCAD versions. For further information on advanced road design, please visit our website www.civilsurveysolutions.com.au. Thank you.